Now, you know, there's nothing I like more in this world than offering a five star experience. Whether it be planes, trains, buses, or even cruise ships. Which is why I'm building a five star cruise ship where people can relax, grab some snacks, and enjoy the view. If anyone complains, I'm throwing them off the side of the boat. Don't tell the police, or you will be next. Welcome to Cruise Ship Tycoon here in Roblox. It's been years, absolute years since I last played this game. And this game hasn't even been updated in the last three years. But I thought to make my return, I don't know why I'm in the middle of the ocean right now. This is kind of weird. I thought that I would take the smallest cruise ship in the game and turn it in to the most luxurious cruise ship the world has ever seen. We're going to have no expense spared, the best rooms, the best foods, the best equipment, the best entertainment, and then set sail and see how much money we can ultimately make. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got like nearly 9 million in the bank right now, but I literally do not own a ship, which is really weird. So we're going to buy a new ship and I'm going to choose the Heron class, which is the smallest boat in the game. It's 80,000 big ones. The biggest one is the Albatross, but we're going to start with the 80,000 big one Heron class right now. Let's buy you. Buy. There we go. Is it now put me back to where I need to be? I, it's, just, it's just oofed me right now. What's going on, boys? What's going on? Um, now I'm on the boat. Uh, with uh, Lido Messi. Uh, hey, how you doing? This is kind of weird. But look at how small this boat actually is. It's absolutely tiny compared to the bigger boats that you can get. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a five-star machine, okay? I don't have much room or much space or, you know, much ability to kind of go too crazy. We've got this floor here, which we've got doors that lead out. This is where the captain and his brown trousers and his red jacket sits. We've got nice little balcony areas as well. And we've also got, like, a, another floor going down. Now, this floor going down, oh, hold on, is, again, it's a lot bigger because the way that the kind of boat is situated. Uh, if I can kind of, I can't even zoom out of a window, can I? No, but this is pretty big. And then the bottom floor, which I think this is the final floor down here, is where we're going to have stuff like all the, oh, no, hold on. Is there another floor? This is so misleading, this ship. How many floors is this? It looks so small, but it's actually quite tall, isn't it? This is where we got all of the engine and the fuel tankers and stuff like that. So, uh, actually, we've got three floors to work with. We actually might be able to do some pretty cool stuff with this. Right, let me climb all the way to the top. Let's do it. Yeah, it's so misleading, that is, isn't it? It looks like you got one, two, three floors, but you don't realize you got a fourth one in the water. Right, so let's go to edit mode then. And let's do some crazy stuff to this. So if I go down a deck, let's go right to the bottom because this is the space we've got to work with where all the engine stuff is currently situated. Now, if I go to build mode and you look at the power, we have the ability to get generators. Uh, there's only one generator. Uh, fuel tanks, there's two. And if I kind of look over here right now, we've got the bigger ones just there. We can get a nuclear reactor, which if I did pay the money, I can't fill it in. There's no, there's no way in this world that we can get a nuclear reactor as a engine. I could put solar panels on the roof to kind of enhance and give us that little additional battery boost. Which, do you know what? The remaining space that we do have, I might throw in a couple of batteries right now. So we can get a little bit of a battery boost when it comes to driving or sailing the ship. So if I put them two there and then these two here. Um, I won't do any more because we still need to get down and access this area. That should be pretty good. So that gives us additional power. Now, if I go right to the top on here, we're going to put some solar panels. So this will give me the ability to generate power. We can get some 35 kilowatt ones. Uh, so the batteries will get recharged and we would get extra power. So to be honest with you, I think that means that we can get rid of this, right? We can get rid of that staircase because we don't need anyone to go to the roof. So build mode, floors... Uh, rubber. Is that what we got up here? Yes. And then we're going to get the rest of the solar panels now down. The 35 kilowatt ones. So solar pan uh, panels charge the battery of electricity, which would mean that we will have extra electricity boosts. So it means the ship can go faster. And if we can get to our destination quicker, we make more money. Boys, more money. So that's just the basic stuff there. Now we get to implement everything that we need for all of our guests. Now we've got... 
three floors to work with. And obviously, I want to make sure that our guests have the best access to sea views. So I won't put them on this top floor. Uh, I could put them on the bottom floor, but I feel like they'll be way too close to the water. Let's just see the size of the rooms that I get to work with. So here's the rooms right now. We've got the crew room. We've got the bathrooms. We've got the suites and the single cabins and the ones with double balconies. Now, the suites, this is your visibility to have four passengers in. This one's two passengers. This one is two passengers. That's two passengers. And that's one passenger. I really like the idea of the suites. They are absolute. Oh my goodness me. They're absolutely huge. I don't think I can actually fit in a suite. I mean, I know I've got to rotate it so it fits like here. But I think I might need to go up a deck to kind of squeeze them in. But then again, I'll have to eat in to the walls. So I think the suites might be a little bit too big. But, you know, as crazy as it is, that is crazy. They're, they're way too big, the suites. Right, let's forget the suites. Uh, okay, go for the mini suite. And this is not as big, but it will require me to implement some balconies. Okay. Now, there's a way in which we can kind of do this. I could either create a wall of it, uh, go up a deck, or I could build them on this deck and have them hang out of the edge here. But it will hinder. Can I build them here as well? No, that's not the indoors. Uh, it will hinder my ability to uh, have the staircase and the walk ability going down. Again, they're just way too big. I can do the double balcony, which is definitely a lot smaller. But again, it hinders our walk ability up here. So you got to ask yourself, how much do we want balconies? I want them a lot. I want them a lot. So... I think what we do is we build them here. So we'll utilize that as a walkway just there. And if I kind of implement one here, and then we build you there. So just kind of bring this down a little bit. Uh, so we've got three double rooms there with balconies. I want to leave a little bit of space there to play around with. So we've got a couple of rooms just there. So back into build mode then. We want some uh, additional rooms like double cabins and whatnot. Now these longer ones give us the ability to... Not have a balcony, but have it also have a sea view. And I can't go any further just there, which is okay. And with the space on this side, can we get some smaller cabins in that won't cause us any issues? Uh, the answer is yes, unless you, you're like me and you're an idiot and you put them on the wrong way around. Right, Seniac, you're a fool. You're an absolute folio right now. You've literally just built the cabin with the door facing outwards. Right, there we go. There we go. Now, I will throw some windows in. So they can see a little bit better. And I'll only bring that to there because they've got to walk around this and walk down. So there is a bunch of different variations on cabins. And if I go up a deck, you can kind of see the balconies on the side, which looks really nice. It does look really nice. So let me get the rest of these uh, rooms all situated and in. And then we got to look towards getting all the entertainment and food areas in as well. Now, when it comes to food, we've got taco stands, we've got burger place, and we've got a pizzeria. So if I go for the taco stand first, I've already done this uh, deck down below here with more balconies. But I do have to put some doors in a few little areas. Now that's a little bit too big to kind of fit in there. I could squeeze it down here, but I'm going to save this for maybe from like crew quarter, uh, quarters or something like that. Uh, we could implement this over here, which wouldn't be too bad. Or I save it for just over here. I can create like a little bit of a food court area. Now, if I build that in the corner, yeah, it does delete that door, but I can move the door and place it in a different area. I've got the burger place, which that in itself is also absolutely huge. Maybe that would have been better in the corner itself to begin with. Can I just delete this? Right, delete you. There's a door there, which is really annoying. <laughs> right, I didn't realize how big the burger place was actually going to be, but put that in the corner. We've got our own McDonald's on the cruise ship. How wild is that? How wild is that right now, boys? So this taco stand, it looks like it's going to have to literally go over here then. So I could build it just there on the side. So it gives a little bit of access point there. And I can do some tables and chairs around here for a little bit of a food court area. Now, we do have the pizzeria, which in reality, it might be a bit too big for us to implement. So we'll scrap the pizzas, boys. We'll scrap the pizzas. Activity-wise, we've got the bar area. Ooh. Now, we've got two variations which you can kind of situate this. So, is that a, a possibility of being able to squeeze here? I'm going to put it there. It does mean that they can't access there, the staff, but that's okay. They don't need to, boys. They don't need to. And then we're going to throw in 
uh, some furnishings and some tables and chairs. We'll do the little wooden ones right now. So this gives them the ability to have like a little bit of a food court area, a bit of a food court vibe. There we go, boys. There we go. Uh, food and drinks are within this vicinity. And then outside, we can put in some more stuff that will kind of enable them to kind of relax and chill out. We can do some beautiful little sunbeds right now. So if I just drop a couple at the back just there. Very good, very good. And we also then have the ability for, is it in utilities? I could do like a little bit of a hot tub. So they can chill on a hot tub uh, on the cruise ship, which is pretty nice. And we also have a giant chest table. How giant is the giant chest table? It is actually pretty big, but I can throw you there. So they got a couple of activities, a couple of lounge areas so they can chill. This already screams luxury, boys, okay? This already screams luxury. Now, over in this area here, there might be a way in which we can squeeze in... It might be in rooms... Could I squeeze in a bathroom? There's a super long one you can build, but that is way too big. Uh, maybe we kind of situate these on a different level. So if I go down, it's probably best we get the, the restroom here, if I'm being completely honest with you. I can build one there, and it gives us an awkward space, which I'll kind of leave. We got a bathroom there, which is fine. What else could we throw in? The, the crew, the cabin... The crew cabin. I'm about to say cabin crew then, which is hilarious. Uh, that room is a little bit too big. Is there a way in which we can kind of build a smaller one? I don't think there is, but you can change where the door is. But the door's not in the best position for us, which is kind of annoying. If I'm being completely honest with you, it is kind of low-key annoying. So we might have to get the cabin crew stuff either on a different floor or go down. I'm not sure how badly they're going to require it. Worst case scenario, I put it up here, but I don't want to put it up here, if that makes sense. I could throw it in there, but again, it don't make sense, boys. It don't make sense. Now, activities, we can do a bowling alley and a movie theater. Now, the movie theater is absolutely huge, but with where the door... Where is the door in this? Ah, the doors are outwards, so you access the movie theater. If I flip it right round from the doors outwards, we have a, a legit cinema on the cruise ship that's wild that is wild you can throw in a bowling alley which i feel like this might be way too big it actually could fit here which is hilarious so i could throw in a bowling alley just there now the issue is you can't access it because of the door situation unless no they are the doors weirdly they are the doors but you can play around with the walls to make sure there's no issues like that um, and I can put like a door in just here maybe as well. So if I put like a uh, This type of door I can throw it just there. So easy access boys. I could also put one there So you can access the uh, the cinema from within the bowling alley, right? We're almost done. There's a few little tweaks and then we'll see right, so the Sun's now gently set in and we now get to explore what we've done to our beautiful cruise ship right now so you can't now go down from the top because we've got the solar panels on, but we've got the uh, hot tubs at the back, the parasols. You can now walk in uh, into the beautiful little cinema right now, which uh, I'm not sure what they're showing. The bowling alley looks pretty good. And then I also got all, all the controls for the captain as well, so he can make sure that he can control the ship. Now, going down, we've got the food court area. We've got the burgers. We've got the bar some tacos over there and some seating and you can go out the front here as well to play chess and have a hot tub where you can kind of look out and pretend you're like on the titanic no don't do that because we hit icebergs and we start to sink uh no yeah definitely don't do that uh, more um rooms down here now these are the ones are the balconies they are look at the balconies boys it looks so good at the balcony doesn't it it looks so good uh more rooms all down there you know how this works baby you know how this works down another floor where we've got even more rooms with more balconies looking so good and there's more rooms over there as well boys oh my goodness me this is luxury they've got like flat screen tvs on the wall it's absolute luxury absolute luxury and then down the floor is where all the engine stuff is don't want to come down here boys it's kind of scary so we're now ready to set sail but before we can we need to load up the cruise ship with passengers so if i go stand uh where should i stand should i try and jump on the roof again oh there we go beautiful boys beautiful we've got to load this puppy up this five star cruise ship so we're gonna manage and we probably need to get the crew first don't we 
So we need some officers, so we hire you. Oh, no crew beds. So it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, try and implement the crew stuff in. So if I build uh, rooms, crew, and buy this one and then just throw you in here. And we just don't talk about where the door is. It's in the shower. Weird, weird way to kind of get in right now. But we don't talk about it, boys. We don't talk about it. So can I now hire? Yes, I can now hire uh, the officers. Can't hire maintenance or cleaning because I don't have those rooms in, unfortunately. But that's okay. Now, supplies. Uh, oh, we need to dock the ship. I've just realized. We got to dock the ship. There we go. Now we can manage. So we can buy... Uh, the remaining charge for our battery. So we get 400 kilowatts. We've got 500 kilograms of fuel. And we've got 2,000 kilograms of supplies on board. Uh, we've got the crew, boys. Uh, we've got a load of the passengers. So it shows us right now what type of passengers we can get. 14 in singles. 2 uh, in doubles. And 9 in double balconies. So if I now load the passengers... Right, there we go. We got 36 passengers, which means I'll earn 23 grand a day. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money right now. That really is. So routes then, we can create our very own route. So let's create a route. And we're currently in New Newport. So should we just keep it simple and go to Orion City? It's probably the easiest way to go. There's already somebody sailing right now under the big bridge there. There's someone up there just leaving. Um... Anywhere really far. I mean, that, that's really far, isn't it? We'll, we'll just keep it simple, boys. Keep it simple. So from where we currently are, uh, we don't need to do anything. But we'll... Oh, do I get do I get passengers? New passengers. And everything else is all good. Uh, we'll sail into, into this one. Where we will get... Uh, oh, do I need to do like a point-to-point -point system? Yes. So you got to create a point-to-point -point system to make sure that you're able to get to where you need to get to. And then you head back out. la -de da So we'll do all the resupply, refuel, and recharge when we get to Orion City. And then pretty much head back. So press done on that. Right, so let me unload. Let me load up this route. We can activate it on autopilot. And believe it or not... Right, hold on. Let's try that again. Let's try that again, boys. Believe it or not. I've activated the route. Are we going to go? Right, there we go. Now we go in. So you can sail the ship yourself. You can drive it. There is the option to drive it with all the buttons here. But I have autopilot enabled right now. So now we are sailing. And there's actual passengers uh, on the ship. Now, what are they saying? What are they saying right now, boys? Are they already complaining? There's not enough bathrooms. What do you mean? I gave you a bathroom. I mean, I only gave you one bathroom. So you do have you do have the right to complain. Uh, maybe I should have implemented a second bathroom. I do have space for it. Edit the ship. Right, fine. I'll give you an additional bathroom. I can't give you a big one. I can only give you a small one. Right. Boom. Bathroom. There was room somewhere else, wasn't there, to get like additional bathrooms in? Right there. And that's it. <laughs> right. Are you guys happy now that you've got bathrooms? I mean, they're no longer complaining about not having enough bathrooms, which is good. Are they Are they lining up for their food? Uh, I need a table to eat. I'm sorry. Are you blind? What are you sitting at right now? Fool. The lines are too long for food. Everybody wants a burger. Everybody wants to go to McDonald's on the ship. Nobody wants to go to the bar right now. And uh, everyone's also getting some delicious tacos. Right, guys, stop complaining. Wait your turn. God, I didn't realize I was transporting a bunch of Karens right now. Right, how far are we from our destination, boys? Can I jump up? Uh, here's Orion City. Oh, there's another cruise ship directly in front of us right now, which is pretty crazy. There goes the new, new port. Here's Orion City. Uh, and we're going to go under the bridge very shortly. So this is actually... Quite exciting. Actual people chilling in the hot tub right now. They're utilizing all the activities on my cruise ship, which is pretty amazing. Right, so we're now heading into the city. We're going to go under the bridge. And then we're going to uh, dock the ship. That's the correct term, right? Uh, we'll unload the passengers. We'll then refuel everything. And we should be pretty good to go. Now, we are turning. We're doing 27 knots right now while we turn. 
We are utilizing the battery boost as well, which makes us go a little bit quicker than we would do if you're just, you know, purely using fuel. And the solar panels are recharging the battery, but we're using more battery than we're recharging. But we would deplete more quicker if we didn't have the solar panels in the first place. So here we go, boys, under the big bridge. What an entrance, boys. What an entrance. Now, we should be docking at that uh, kind of platform of the dock area. Is that the correct term? I don't quite know if that's the correct term or not, boys. I'm not too sure. But look at how glorious this ship does look. Absolutely fantastic, baby. Absolutely fantastic. Are they complaining again? I wish I had something to do. Not like that you're sitting in a hot tub right now. Yo, have you not seen the movie theater? They're watching the God Builder, which is like the Godfather. Um, they're playing bowling. Ha! You didn't get a strike, you're weak. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, I almost fell off the ship. Oh, no. Now I have to explain to people why I'm walking through their rooms. Sorry, guys. Oh, that's the wrong way. This way. This way, boys. I'm bored. I'm so bored. Just buy a burger and shut up, okay? Why have I got a bunch of Karens on my ship right now? I will never know. I will never know. But we're now coming in. We're going to line up beautifully. We should then, like I said, unload everybody. Recharge, refuel, resupply. Which I'm hoping is not so much cares when I'm in life, you know what I mean? Um, we're coming in. Nicely does it. Boom. Nice. So tw nearly 23 grand we earn. Uh, crew salaries deducted from that. There's all of our multipliers, which is pretty good. We've got the monies. We're now recharging, restocking, refueling, and off we go again back to no, no port, boys. Back to no, no port. Yeah, baby. <laughs> to make another 23 grand. After a glorious long sail, and it now being nighttime, these fools should be asleep. But I bet you they're all now complaining still. Oh, no, they're actually not complaining. Okay, I lied. They're all complaining. I need a table to eat at. I'm sorry, are you blind? Was you not sitting at a table right now? Right, I can't wait to get these Karens off my cruise ship right now. You give them luxury. You give them five-star class world experience right now. Food from around the world. And they complain like they are right now? Uh, this is the SS Karen this ship is. That's what we should call it. But there we go. We made another 22 grand, boys. 44 grand we made in total. And um, I don't think we refuel or recharge on this leg, so... Whoopsie. But we're off again. We're off again. Now, guys, what do you reckon? Should I now upgrade to a bigger ship? Should I go even bigger? Let me know in the comment section down below. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So good. Bye.